In this video, I'll show you some great lightweight clothes for travel that will allow you to layer and keep you warm in a lot of different weather conditions. I have a few different options here to show you that are going to work really well as base layers, mid layers, and shells. These are some of the lightest, most compact clothes that you can use for travel and used in a good layering system will allow you to mix and match and keep you warm and dry in almost any location. Before I show you the clothes, I'll do a quick overview on the basics of fabric and layering. So if you want to see the clothes, then just skip down to that section in the description below. Before you can even start packing, you need to check the weather on the location that you're going to. Winter in California is going to be completely different from winter in Northern Europe, and the clothes that you take are going to need to match the weather of your location. Let's cover the basics for materials on travel clothes. Cotton is the most common fabric, and you want to avoid it in general when you travel, but especially when it's cold. Cotton is heavy, it holds moisture, and it won't keep you warm when it's wet. Two of the best fabrics for travel are down and merino wool. These are going to be the warmest and lightest materials, but also the most expensive. And then you have synthetic fabrics like nylon and polyester. These are going to be soft, lightweight fabrics that are going to keep you warm in the winter and are usually going to be less expensive than down and wool. I work as a wildlife biologist for my day job and I've done a lot of backpacking and spend a lot of time outside. The basic principles for layering for backpacking are really similar for travel. You want multiple layers of lightweight clothes that you can take on and off as the weather changes throughout your trip. Starting with the base layer. This can be something as thin as a t-shirt or a little bit thicker thermal underlayer. Next is the mid layer. This is a mid weight jacket that's either a fleece or a down or synthetic puffy jacket. And then you have a weatherproof shell. This is gonna keep the heat trapped inside your layering system and keep you protected from the wind and the rain. Now we'll go into more detail on the items that I use and show you how to put them together into a layering system. Starting with the base layer, this is gonna be the layer that's touching your body and you're gonna want at least three of these so you can mix and match depending on the weather. If it's cool out, your base layer might be as thin as a t-shirt, but if it's cold, you want something a little bit thicker. I have two options depending on temperature. The first one is the Patagonia Cool Trail t-shirt. It's a synthetic polyester fabric that feels a lot like cotton. It's a really thin shirt, but it's a great option for fall. It will keep you warm when you add layers on top of it, while also being really soft and breathable. The next level up I have is the Patagonia Capilene Midway Crew. It's a much thicker polyester fabric and it's a great base layer to keep you warm during the winter. And finally, you're going to want at least one pair of thermal underwear. And this is something you want to be thin that you can wear under your pants. And again, the Patagonia Capilene is another great option here. And depending on where you're going and what you're doing, you might want a button up shirt to go over your base layer. This is a great place for a merino wool shirt because it's not going to be itchy and you can wear it over and over again without having to wash it. Next we have the mid layer, which is usually either going to be a fleece or a puffy jacket with synthetic or down fill. My lightweight option here is the Montbell chemise. At 9.7 ounces, it's one of the lightest fleeces I could find for the warmth. And for winter travel, the Arcteryx Atom LT is one of the best jackets you can buy. It has a synthetic fill and a wind and water resistant outer coating. It's just 11.1 ounces and packs down small into its own pocket. And now for the outer shell layer. Depending on the temperature and the rain, you might be able to get away with a water resistant wind jacket or you might need a 100% waterproof raincoat. The Patagonia Houdini is a great option for a windbreaker. It has a thin DWR coated ripstop nylon. It's water and wind resistant, but it's not waterproof. This thing is just 3.7 ounces, so you barely even notice that you have it. If you do need a rain jacket, the Outdoor Research Helium 2 is one of the lightest waterproof jackets you can find. It's also made from ripstop nylon, but has sealed seams and waterproof zippers, giving you 100% waterproof rain jacket at only 6.4 ounces. So that's pretty much it. Your layering system consists of multiple lightweight clothing options that allow you to mix and match. You'll have several options for a base layer, and then depending on the weather, you'll choose one mid layer and one shell. If it's cool and not very rainy, 
You might go with a t-shirt, a thin fleece, and then a windbreaker. And if it's much colder, a thick thermal base layer, followed by a merino wool button-up, a puffy jacket, and a rain shell will keep you warm and dry in almost any weather. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about layering, materials, or what to pack for cold weather travel in different climates, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. And again, if you like videos like this, then please subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.